Yo, what is going on you guys? It is your host all Gavin here and I am back with episode 2 of Feed the Beast Academy 1.16. In today's video, we're going to be diving into the early storage mods because as we all know, storage is very important in early game modded Minecraft. Um, and then we'll be checking out some of the other quest lines as well. I'm sure that they go in more depth because if you look at them right now, it just has like one thing. But I'm sure once we click that, it'll open up more for us and then we can dive into it a little more. I've completed some missed quests on accident. Um, so I will get into what I did for those. Uh, but I finished my house and it's, um, it's something else. So I'll let you guys look at it. Uh, yeah, there it is. It's, it's a magical enchanted house. The wood just flows so nicely, guys. And, uh, I didn't know what to do for the roof. I might change the roof. Kind of looks ugly. Doesn't really fit with the house. But for now, we're going to leave it like that. We got multicolored doors, multicolored floors, green and blue. My, well, blue is my favorite color. I would say green is my second favorite color. Um, although you'll only ever see me wearing black, probably. And uh, this is Martin the parrot. Um, he has two and a half hearts because um, he was sitting where I needed to build my roof, so I punched him. And uh, he just has stayed with me ever since. He just fell in love with me when I punched him in the face. So that's how that's how we're gonna make friends in this mod pack is by punching them in the face. Uh, we do have a upstairs where I have the storage organized a little bit. We have our stone and stuff or ingots and whatnot and then the rest of the blocks um I, I tried using wooden hoppers from cyclic that's one of the missed quests i got and setting this up to automatically like you know push the ores in and then push them out um it pushes them out but it doesn't push them in uh, i don't know why uh, i don't know if it has to be above it directly but you know how it connects to the side like i can show you guys like it does this little number right here or uh that wasn't supposed to go that way. And then it falls in every time I break it. It does it goes like that. And uh, for some reason, it just wouldn't put the ores in. It would take one ore out and put it in the hopper. And it just would stay in the hopper. Um, I don't know why. But I might, might just need to use regular hoppers for that. Maybe they're too simple. Um, so let's go ahead and open up our quest book. Uh, the basic storage. In modern Minecraft, frankly, chests aren't that great. Like I just said, guys. This is this got quest book. It says a lot of things I say, if you haven't noticed. They work fine without mods, but there's just so many new items that chests just don't cut it. This chapter is dedicated to all the mods that make storage easier. Well, most of the mods. Refined storage is just too big to fit in here, so it's in its own chapter. Alright, guys. So, we click the checkbox to unlock the quest, like I said. And then we have a couple different options, okay? Well, number one, we have the storage drawers. Um, the mod storage drawers adds drawers which store a large amount of a single item. You can also make drawers that have like two, where we can store two, like, I think it's eight stacks. I wanna say, maybe, I don't know. More accurately, each slot can hold a single item. Oh, okay, upgrade, un unupgraded drawer can hold 64 stacks divided equally between its slots. So, um, if you make just the regular storage drawer, it'll hold 64 of one item. If you make the double one, you can hold 32 and 32. If you make the one with four, you can hold 8, 8, 8. And no, that's only 32. You can hold 16, 16, 16, 16. Um, you right click on an item on the front of the drawer to insert the item, left click the front to take one out, and sneak to take out the entire stack. The compacting drawer works similarly except for it shows the block ingot and nugget form of the item it contains that makes it excellent for strong metals and gems. So guys, we're going to go ahead and complete this first. Um, we are going to make one of these, we're going to make one of those, and we're going to make one of those, okay? Um, actually, we should make the... Uh, we'll make the full one for now, but we can make half one. It just holds half the amount, but it might look cleaner in the long run. Um, so what we need first, guys, we'll go, just get the oak drawers done. So we're going to need our wood, okay? And we're going to turn it all into planks. And then we're just going to make a bunch of chests real quick. All right. So for this first one, we literally need... Do I need oak wood? Is that... Really? You're going to make me... Okay, guys. I have to go get some oak wood. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. So, I just had to travel right over there to get the wood. Um, I got a lot. So, we should be good for the rest of the video. But first, we'll go ahead and make one of thems. I know that's improper grammar. We'll make one of thems. Well, it makes two of thems. And then we'll make some of these. 
All right. Um, so I, I, I don't want to put these in my house. So I think I'm going to build a little separate area for them underneath, like a basement, kind of. Or exactly a basement. I don't know why I said kind of. Oh, I also have a waystone set up in here. Um, also, though, we got to make the compacting drawer. So we need our stone. And we need iron and redstone. Okay, so first things first, we're going to make... Oh, I need cobblestone, too. We're going to make uh, two pistons. So there's one. Here's two. All right. And now we should be able to make it. So it's three stone across the top, one piston on each side of an oak drawer. But I can put one of these on instead... Can I? Yes. I don't want to use my one. Uh, an iron ingot in the bottom middle and then surrounded by the stone, which gives us a compacting drawer. This holds 128 stacks per drawer. So what we're going to do with this is probably store iron in here. And does it hold more than... No. Okay. So, yeah, we're just going to store iron. Um, it shows the one form, the block form. I don't know what form that is. Um, because we're going to have a lot of iron probably, but it also holds your item in there guys. So and if you see, if you hover over it, it actually tells you what you have in here. Uh, so we have 116 ingots, which can make 12 blocks or one compressed block of iron, which that's what that little info thing means. So we've now completed that quest. Now, another quest I wanted to get into, um, this episode guys was the botany pots so we want the hopping botany pots and the regular botany pots um, we'll get into that after we set up the storage but we have two little other side quests we can do here we can make storage upgrades other upgrades and have keys to lock the drawer and we can also make a drawer controller so the drawer controller is something that we're going to want to make but we don't have diamonds yet so that's gonna have to come for another episode and another episode not for another episode what is speaking um, we're going to nap real quick, wake up. I mean, it's not even nighttime, but we'll sleep through the day. Uh, I cannot speak today. Jeez. All right. So first things first, we'll just... Uh, I don't really know if we can make a basement. Um, we'll check real quick. We'll see what we can do. I mean, you could just build out like below our house. Um, we'll just make it right here. This is centered, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Alright. Yeah, this works. We can do this. And then we'll just... We'll, we'll mine it all. Um. And we'll get this out of the way. Um. Aw. Jesse! Poor baby was having a bad dream. If you guys don't know who Jesse is, it is my queen, uh, my dog, um, and I have another queen. Her name's Isabel, but uh, Damn right. <laughs> um, let's get some cobblestone. We have it on us, actually. We're just going to make this f even with the house real quick. That's not even even. Because there were sand. There were sand. There was sand there. Um, let's do this. Like that. We're going to need more cobble as well. But for the meantime, this will do. I'll finish this up off camera. Because this is boring. And not why we're here. You guys probably know how. To oh, guys, if you don't know how to place blocks, you just right click. And, uh, you know, full tutorial disclosure here. Uh, we'll do ladders here for us. Uh, we are going to make ourselves a crafting uh, table down here. Um, we'll place that in the wall. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and make another shovel just in case we need it. And then we'll make some ladders. So for those of you who don't know how to make ladders, it's pretty simple. It's just like this. <laughs> not like that. Hold on. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got it mostly right. Um, 
I swear it used to just be like sticks. I don't know. Could be wrong. But we shouldn't need this many. We should only need like two sets. Yeah. All right. Um, we don't need this. All right. Now we have ladders going back up. Hopefully Martin decides to stay in here and doesn't fly away because I really like him and would like to give him a name tag. Um, next, we're going to just go ahead and uh, place this like this. We'll place one on either side and we'll place the single one in the middle. Now, we're going to go ahead and put sand up in here. And you can just quickly uh, double right click it to clear out your whole inventory of that stuff. Um, we're going to put oak wood in here because I want a lot of oak wood. Uh, we'll put dirt at the bottom of there. And cobblestone can actually... I take that back, guys. We are going to uh, put cobblestone in this middle one. Um, and then we'll put stone right there. And we'll put stone bricks there. Um, and then we'll put all our different kinds of wood down here. Um, so planks, oak wood. And then the compacting drawer can go here with the iron in it. And, uh, yeah, it's all stored now. Uh, sandstone can go here. All right. So let me grab all this wood real quick. I'm going to speed this up so you guys don't have to uh, watch me run back and forth. But we're going to go ahead and get this all organized. Alright guys, and we are back. Um, I didn't fully organize everything yet because I don't want to put everything in there. Um, next, we are going to need to make the uh, drawer controller, guys. Um, the drawer controller allows hoppers and the like to access the contents of all connected drawers. Any item that gets inserted into the controller will be inserted into the nearest connected drawer that it can. Likewise, pulling items out will pull from the nearest drawer that it can. You can manually insert items into the controller as if it were a drawer, but you cannot manually extract any. A drawer is considered connected when it is, t uh, I think that means touching the controller. Toughing or touching, uh, when it is toughing, uh, I don't know if that's a typo or what. That it is, uh, trims count as drawers for this. A drawer controller slave works exactly like a controller, except it only works if there's already a controller connected somewhere. Uh... Oh, that's the thing we can't make yet. I already went over that. Right, we need a diamond. So we're done with the basic storage drawers. So botany pots, guys, pretty simple. We just need terracotta and a flower pot. Terracotta, we need clay. So now we are going to go get some clay, and I will be back after I have clay. All right, guys, so I went ahead and got everything we need to go ahead and make these botany pots. So you need five terracotta and a flower pot. So we'll go ahead and make two flower pots because we're going to make the hopping botany pot as well. The regular botany pot, uh, we're just going to need some dirt. Um, grass works better if you can get grass. Um, and then we'll place uh, just this one right here. And then we'll put some dirt in there. And then if you put a sapling in, it starts growing the sapling, guys. It says the grow time's two minutes for this tree. Um, and basically what it will do is you just right click it when it's done It'll automatically replant the sapling and it'll give you all the resources from that tree now All right, the hopper body pot you need five terracotta a flower pot and a hopper And you're also going to want to get a chest underneath of it You'll put the chest directly underneath of it and you'll put the hopper body pot on top of it place the grass inside and then put the sapling or seed whatever you want to grow in there and now it's automatically going to place all the wood which hold on we're actually going to use uh um we'll use this sapling in a sec uh to make the red oak wood um but it's automatically going to use this and place all the resources in the chest for you uh with this one you have to manually right click it so Pretty easy to automate and everything like that early game to get lots of resources going for you. Lots of food, things like that. Um, and we got red spruce, blue enchanted, cypress, and indigo. Okay, so I actually want to plant... Uh, I'm going to make another hopper botany pot because I have another chest. 
um, and the resources for oh wait no I don't want that connected though um, or actually I think it can it I think it can be connected guys uh, and then we'll go ahead and make a another hopper so like so wait I need another chest forgot about that for the hopper and then we'll make the flower pot and then we can go ahead and make this okay oh we could have also just turned this one into a hopper bunny pot I don't know why I didn't do that um, and then we'll go ahead and place this on top here get another piece of dirt throw it in there and we're going to plant the cypress sapling okay um, now it's gonna grow and we'll show you guys in a second what it does um, all right so next, I already went into this. Uh, Curios adds a button to your inventory at the top left of your player portrait. In it, there are new slots for certain items, which are worn like armor, also known as baubles. Okay, well, items that can go in these slots say so in their tooltip. For instance, the Sojourner's Sash says slot belt. This means it goes in the belt slot. Items that say slot Curio can go in any slot. This is what they're talking about right here. Okay, you click this, you have head, necklace, necklace, back body feet statue I, I I don't know what this is but I have it and then you got hands and you can scroll all the way down and you have lots of rings charms and things like that they're boost guys they're buffs you can have on your character okay they're great also I'm gonna go over this muffler right here you guys if you click this you can you can literally mute any sound in the game okay um like let's see pig why oh wait it's it's got to be showing up uh i think it's got to be a sound that you hear so if we go up here next to the parrot right let's say we don't want to hear him squawk parrot parrot anyway did i spell that wrong why oh wait 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 here we go uh parrot 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 uh, I don't see the parrot on here. Basically, you can... Oh, here it is, right here. So, we can click mute. Uh, and then it will mute the sound. I don't want to mute the parrot, though. So, we're going to click stop muffling. Alright. Um, and you can mute any sound. So, like, portal noises, if they're by your base and you don't want to hear it, you can mute it, guys. Uh, we'll get into that later on, because when I have a portal, I'm not going to want to hear it. Um, so we can go ahead and claim this. We got the googly eyes, which goes on the slot curio so for now we'll put them on our head actually we'll put them there they still work all right next guys we have uh the cool things from cyclic so we just made a cyclic item and we got uh this quest done on accident so cyclic is a really cool mod it adds a lot of stuff so much stuff in fact that there can't be quests for all of them just click around and find cool things. The really cool stuff will also have their own quest, but you should also really check out the stuff without quests. Cyclic guidebook, okay? As you guys see, lots of accessories in here for those curio slots. Lots of interesting blocks. Uh, we're going to get into a lot of cyclic stuff throughout this mod pack, just because if you guys see this, I'll search at cyclic real quick. Uh, it has three pages of items, guys, and there's some really cool stuff. So, for example, these silk weave slippers make you immune to fall damage, and they're not that hard to make. Um, this uh, mask here, potion duration increased by 50%. Um, immune to suffocation and elytra crash damage. That's also extremely useful, right? And it's even got all these different types of hoppers you can make. Uh, this anvil deletes enchantments. Uh... It has a block breaker and stuff like that for automation. Really cool stuff you can do with that mod, guys. As you guys see, we now have this automating and getting us wood and whatnot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this one. We're going to turn it into a hopper botany pot eventually. Um, but for now, guys, that is all for this episode I think I want to go over. Uh, we'll get into some more of the storage stuff, but for now I think we've covered... You know, we've covered two mods uh, in this video. We covered botany pots and the um, storage drawers. Not fully storage drawers. So we'll get more into storage drawers later on. But 
that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did make sure you click that like button down below subscribe if you're new to the channel comment if you got any questions or tips for the series or something you want to see me get into and i will dive into it for you guys but for now guys i will see you in the next episode which should be coming out very soon maybe tomorrow all right i'm gonna try to upload uh daily again so I don't know when I'm going to be doing my other series. I got to make a schedule, but I'll let you guys know when I have a schedule. But for now, I'm just going to be doing Feed the Beast Academy, grinding on this because uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this. And it's not on the server. And I'm still working on my Better Minecraft 100 Days video with Isabel, which is we've gotten 23 hours of gameplay recorded. We need 10 more hours, I believe, to complete the 100 days. And uh, then I have to edit that. So that's going to be a grand time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in episode 3. Take care.